than the other the other ones? Or? Oh, so the other two is I actually didn't work for them. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. WB Games Montreal. This is our first map. The other uh, two games we made by Rockstar was two games over in uh, London. Oh, okay, my mistake. But like overall though, like uh, like how how was the like how was the uh, how was the uh, the process of the game itself? Like with like uh, was there any kind of feats or any kind of you know troubling parts that you would say would be? It's a very general question. So, it is. But, uh, I mean, the, the, I guess the real challenge for us has always been to live up to that legacy of those other games, right? So we are very aware how loved those games are, how respected they are, uh, and so we have to challenge ourselves not to come up with uh, just a whole bunch of ideas that aren't going to okay and throw them in, or tell a story that's well, there's a story, right? But to tell a story that should be a like, man, this is an important one, right? Like we need to, to see this. So uh, the main. Uh, I guess the main jump up point for that for me was I used to collect comics when I was a teenager. I started off when I was like 14 again, buying American comic books when I was growing up in Scotland. And uh, I used to go wash dishes for the money to go and do it. And um, the book I always picked up on my pile every time when I went and collected it from the comic shop was a book called Legends of the Dark Knight. Oh, it was this really important series that, that told about first encounters, mistakes Batman would make, and how he learned to become the guy he eventually had to be. So that was really a big influence. So, with, uh, with Origins, uh, after uh, Arkham City, you know, there was room to go pretty much anywhere in the universe, and including in the beginning. So what was it about telling what happened before the events of uh, Arkham Asylum that's, that stood out to you guys that you said we had to tell the, the year two story? Right. So some of the answer to that question is in the game, and okay. you understand when you play it. Some of it's in the answer I just gave. But I think that was the important part of it is about that transformative effect we can do there. Like Batman, our Batman at the start of our game is not the same as the Batman you played in the other games. He's younger, he's cockier, he's, un he's raw, he's, he's, he doesn't know what it's going to take to be Batman. Kind of like a, kind of more naive uh, at, at that sense, in a sense. You could call him naive, you could also call him a little cocky, a little, a little uh, overconfident maybe. And I think that the events in our story are going to challenge him in a way that nothing he's faced this far has. And, and the, the approach he's been using up to now probably isn't going to work against the opposition. So I don't want to give too much away, but things have to change. So uh, we also get to have a very renewed world in the game. So we, we start with a world where James Gordon is hunting a He's a captain in the GCP. GCPD doesn't respect him and doesn't like him because he's a straight cop and this is a corrupt department that takes brains. Uh, this is a corrupt department run by Commissioner Loeb, who's a guy that really is very different from the commissioner that Gordon will eventually become. Because he's he runs the police of most of the gang himself. So we get a very different world by going back to this movie. So we get to see we get to see things that, okay, we know we know that Gordon and Batman are friends eventually. We know that, we understand that. We're not redefining that one. But what we are is we're showing the world is different. And now we're getting beautifully beautiful events that start to change. And so I think once you know where it will end up, you don't know how it gets there. And I think that that's going to be, should be a bunch of interesting moments through the story, which I think will be uh, revelatory for Because I don't think we're, we're going with the safe, obvious choices. Of how is there a fortune left for a continuation, or is it one game at a time? Oh, we talk about everything, I think, is a, is a phrase that Jeff Jones used when we were doing a panel at Comic Con. So we have, we have lots of ideas, but we're only ever working on one project at a time and doing tasks with it. So that, 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 so basically you're saying that there will be future games and new outcomes? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying we talk about I mean, you know what determines whether they are? Success. That's what determines it. So, who knows? Not on the dollar. I just want to say first, you're doing great work with the game. Well, I can't wait for it. But with the ability to make a prequel, Instead of you know after what happened after Arkham City, we know Batman's Rogue Gallery has a lot of unique pieces into it. With this being a prequel, did you guys have any pick of the villains you would pick? I mean, I know you revamped Copperhead instead of you know the guy with the snake thing on his head into a kind of like a Cirque du Soleil kind of you know assassin for that. So what made you guys pick the story and the villains for this game? I know it's like eight assassins are after Batman, so we've got like Deadshot and Deathstroke who haven't had their debut yet. 
but did you what made you guys pick that storyline and what made you guys pick the personally pick the characters from the rogue gallery into this game? Which question do you want to first? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with the first one. Let's go with um, what made you guys pick the villains gap, the the, uh, the rogue gallery that you picked in this game. So we have we have a lot of characters in the game. It's true. I mean, you mentioned some of the assassins. We have characters that we pick. We have, uh, we have anarchy. We have, we have a whole bunch of characters in there beyond just the assassins too. But I think the the process was along the lines of what story do we want to tell, right? Mm. And, and, and we really want a story that would put Batman's back against the wall and force him to reassess yeah. how he's been doing things and what happens. Uh, and through that, we also realized we wanted to bring in some new blood into the game, characters that, that um, we haven't seen before because a lot of the core characters were very much, they were delivered brilliantly in the city, but it was almost that core cast in completion. Yeah. Unless we want to bring some of those characters back and rewind them back through this early, earlier career lens, we didn't want to retread all that. We wanted to bring new characters in. So the assassin character came out of that. And I, I, could, I could answer it more length, but I'm getting waved at right here. Um, yeah, we gotta I guess we're trying to make sure there's a diverse cast, trying to make sure there's a diverse set of gameplay challenges, and a mixture of fresh blood and, and familiar faces. Okay. That's how we okay. have to bother them. Thank you so much. Thanks, thanks for having me, guys. Go to that table. Entertain them.